Welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Vince. Are you ready to have your house smell amazing all day? Yeah? Let's make ragu. When all said and done, this recipe is going to take about six to eight hours, so you're going to want to make sure that you have all day. For this, you're also going to need bacon, chuck steak, ground beef, celery, carrots, onion, garlic, tomato paste, two big cans of tomatoes, milk, Chianti, oregano, salt, pepper, finally, olive oil. Chop your bacon into small bits and then get it in a cold, big pot. Start cooking this at a very low temperature. This will ensure that all of the fat comes out of the bacon and gives us all that flavor. Take this time to prep the rest of your ingredients. Chop up four carrots and stalks of celery. Finally, dice an entire red onion, and then crush your garlic. I'm using a full head because we must do everything to defeat the vampires. Go through your canned tomatoes by hand. Find the stemmy, skidgy bits, and go ahead and rip that out. It can be a bit bitter and not taste very good. Put the flesh in a blender. Take the destemmed flesh and all the juice, put it in a blender, and blend it up. You could then pass this through a fine mesh strainer, but really, that's up to you, because that's cooking. Now that your bacon's extra crispy, go ahead and use a spider boy to get it all out while leaving the fat here. Now get out some young dad tongs. They're a little bit smaller. They still work, though. Take your chuck and get it in the bacon fat to sear. Get good color on each side. Take your time and work in batches. We want to get good color on these. Pull out your chuck steak and go in with your ground beef. Switch to a spoon and get this all chopped up and cut. Really take your time here. Ground beef has a lot of water in it, so don't let it trick you. We want to get a good sear on this. Now that all the water's gone and we've got a good fry on our ground beef, we go in with our onion. Put your onions for about five minutes, then go in with your garlic. Cook your garlic for about two minutes, then go in with your celery and carrots. Crank your heat up to high, and then go in with about a tablespoon of your tomato paste. Cook this till it no longer smells like a tin can. After about two minutes, get your bacon and your chuck back in the pot. Add in a quart of milk. Add in a couple of dashes of oregano and pepper here. Reduce this by about half and pour yourself a big glass of wine. You deserve it. Also, we're going to be cooking with the rest of the wine. 15 minutes later and mine's reduced by half, so I add my wine. Also at this time, add your tomato. Bring this up to a boil and then back it down to a simmer and leave it simmering for at least six hours. After about three hours, you might get some oil on the top. You can go ahead and skim that off whenever you want. But what do you do all afternoon? Well, I'm going to make pasta and I'm also going to practice my Italian. I'm going to practice my Italian on the cat, on the hummingbirds, and even my editor. Wait a second. For a few hours, your meat should be fork tender. Just gently kind of rip it apart with the back of a spoon throughout the day. This will thicken your sauce and make it more hearty. Here's my ragu at the six hour mark. Now I'll check it for seasoning and adjust accordingly. My tagatelli with ragu, a little bit of parmesan, and boom, some basil. Serve this on pasta, have it on toast the next day cold, which is amazing for breakfast. Just get out there and make this! Do you think anyone's gonna notice that I changed my shirt halfway through?